As a corn grower, as we get close to planting here in mid-April, there's some things we can do at the end of March that can really increase our yields in October. That is, how do we get really good emergence, good corn stands, and really excellent ear count? What I'm talking about is where you and I would take the samples of seed is we're getting in our seed warehouse and it's starting today at our home place. We're starting to get ready and bring seed in. We can do and take a gallon of seed out of each pro box and send it to the seed lab and gain a lot of knowledge. Remember, knowledge drives good decisions. What I'm talking about is we would take it to the seed lab and we would do a saturated cold test. Totally different than what the rating is on the bag. So you and I have no problem writing some really large checks to seed industry for good genetics. But each of those seeds are not created equal. How do they handle a cold drink? So we've talked about the first drink, if it's below 50 degrees, how painful that can be in a seed. This is going to go to the lab, and they're going to keep that in about seven to eight days. They're going to hold that seed in wet towels for 50 degree temperature. Then after the eighth day, they're going to warm it up to 80 degrees plus, and they're just going to count of all that 100 seed sample, which ones grow and which ones don't, and they're going to give you a score. So it doesn't matter which company you're buying it from. We're talking about you and I having the knowledge to know, is this seed equipped to handle adverse conditions? Last year, I had scores from 99% saturated cold to 69% saturated cold. Guess which one was my highest yielding, most potential, the one I wrote the highest check for was 69%. Did I call up the seed company and throw a fit and say, what are you doing? Are you kidding me? No. I planted the 99%. I call these Eskimos. They can handle a really cold drink and more adverse conditions. I planted those in April. And then and once I got into May, I pulled out and plant the 69%. And we had a tremendous emergence and tremendous ear count because we managed that seed to win. Besides saturated cold germ, there's two other things I asked the lab to give me. Accelerated aging. In other words, I want to know, did someone sing happy birthday to that seed and it's been kept in a refrigerated warehouse for a year? And then I also get pericarp score. In other words, as we think about that seed, what kind of fractures might we have in the seed coating itself? If I end up with a high severe pericarp score, I'm going to either add more water to my starter that's going on the seed, or I'm going to do no starter at all. At our farm, we're using starter on the seed. And so if I'm coming in here and putting starter on the seed, we could have a misfire. It's the salt that draws moisture. And so if salt draws moisture and it comes out of the center here, we're going to have a seed that's not going to put on an ear. At the end of the day, a simple $47 per sample can help me have a really great harvest.